looking at you guys how we doing how we feeling happy Monday it is a Monday like about six o'clock y'all I ran out I get myself in these like little thoughts I had to run an errand and so I was on the other side of town so I thought oh I'm gonna run the TJ Maxx which you know it I have to I just can't help myself and I was at the TJ Maxx that's over on the other side of town the one I used to go to all the time when I was working um, and I saw like you know I went to look for a purse that I had seen in there a while back all right guy you need to stop um, I went to look for this purse that I had seen in there a while back like probably like two weeks ago I guess now I was hoping it was still gonna be in there um, I don't know why <laughs> but I was like if it's still in there you know like you know it's like one of those things if it keeps being in there then it was meant to be and so like it's I and honestly I don't need it I just you know see things and I want things and I don't know but um, it was such a cute little cross not crossbody a cute little backpack type purse it was really pretty um, but it was gone so then I decided to just look around in the store. So I probably spent like an hour and a half maybe looking around in the store. And um, just seeing and looking and just, you know. Actually, I, was, I went over to the makeup section hoping to see some of that makeup that, um, that every, you know, like like what I saw before. But I didn't, I didn't have any luck. I didn't see any new stuff or anything like that. Because I watched a video this morning where a girl was like, she does weekly videos about like all this makeup at um, TJ Maxx, but wasn't at that particular TJ Maxx, and it wasn't at the one, the other one that I went to today off either. So, no luck, but which is good because I don't have any money to buy any. But so getting back to the purse situation, so I walked around in the store a little bit, and I was like, oh, you know, like I'm gonna go back and look at the purses again because I saw this one purse that was really cute and. I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like, I really like it. So, bottom line is I put the purse on my way. And because I'm like, I like it. I put it on my way. I have a, I have a, it's a backpack purse because I'm really into backpack purses and crossbodies for whatever reason right now. Those are my jam. So, it's a backpack purse. Um, and I do have a backpack purse, a backpack purse that's hard to say, um, that I, but I'm having some issues with the snap on it. So I'm kind of just trying to decide, like, if I need to take it back, um, because the snap keeps coming unsnapped and I'm afraid I, and I still have the receipt for it. And so I know I can take it back if I need to. It was a gift. So, um, it was my Valentine's gift. So, um if I take it back then I will get that other purse but I like that purse but I have looked in several TJ Maxx and I don't see the same purse anymore it's gone so I would have to totally get a different purse so I'm kind of deciding I don't know if I want to okay I'm in my garage so anyway so my dilemma is um, if I take the purse back then um, I can get my I can you know like use the money and get the other purse but I really like the purse that I got for a gift because I like the style of the purse, which I don't know if I've ever even shown that to you guys, but um, it's a really cute backpack purse. I just, for whatever reason, I've noticed that the snap, like if when I first got it, it stayed snapped pretty well. Like I didn't notice anything, but now I feel like I've carried it a few times and I feel like the snap isn't holding, like the snap comes undone really easy, which worries me because the longer I have the purse, the worse it's gonna get. So anyway, so I've got that little bit of a dilemma going on. I'm trying to decide, do I return the purse, use that money to get the other purse, or just keep the purse? Like it's, I mean, like, because it does have the drawstring and like, I don't know, but I'm just worried about that snap. I'm gonna go home and look at it really good tonight and try to decide whether or not I should or should not keep the bag. Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? What is today? It's Tuesday. I am, of course, leaving the gym because it's Tuesday. You all know I do my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday workout. 
um, so I really I'm proud of myself today I actually did a vigorous like I did the more of a vigorous workout and I did it for the entire time like I was so proud of myself like I, mean, I actually felt like I felt like flushed like oh my god I'm like hot and I'm like you know I feel a little perspiration there which I don't really perspire I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to you all I think I have probably um, I'm not a I don't really perspire I I will get you know, not like how like people just like, you know, like have sweat showing through their clothes. I've never been that person. Um, I will get like flushed. Um, sometimes my back will get a little bit like where it feels a little bit wet. Um, but that's to the extent of it. Like I don't, I never drip sweat or anything. So today I felt like it was just like like I felt that like I was at that point of like okay and my face looked a little dewy I'm not sweating but it looks a little dewy which means I did good <laughs> all right chicka pies so I'm home from the gym I've had a makeover I decided to throw some makeup on well obviously took a shower decided to throw some makeup on and I had taken this with me over the weekend to wear and I ended up not wearing it because the weather turned off like really cold. So I don't know. I was just like, I think I'm going to put this on today. You guys, I know I showed this to you all when I went to California. I actually bought this at H&M back in the summer when it was still like pretty warm. And the thought of putting this on at that point was like, oh my God, how could I? But I, I think I paid like, I don't know, like $10 for it. I know it's like, it's, it's like stupid cheap. And I love, love, love this dress slash sweatshirt, whatever you really want to call it. I just, I thought today I'm going to wear it with my boots and just kind of give it more of that, I don't know what vibe, what, what would I call this? Like, I don't know, but it's a cross between being sporty and cute, I guess. I don't know. But anyhow, that's my OOTD for today. It is a $10-ish dress from H&M. And I got these boots from Dillard's in one of their sales. Like, you know how at the January they have all their boots and stuff like that on sale. But I've had them for a few years now. So not anything to get excited about. I just don't wear them very often. But yeah, so this is my OOTD today. The hair is looking good. So a close-up shot of the hair. I washed my hair last night. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog, but I don't know how much of that. Like I totally vlogged like a couple minutes. Like it was horrible, but um, I washed it. I feel like my front curls have gotten extreme, like a lot looser than my back curls. I guess because I probably mess with the front curls a lot more. Like I manipulate them a lot more. But at the same time, I'm kind of loving it. I feel like it almost looks even more natural now. I have a whole lot of body, which I absolutely love having all the body. But yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that these curls have fallen this early in the game. But, you know, I'll I'll be playing with it and trying to figure it out in a little bit later. I decided to push my hair up into the other hair today, so I don't have bangs today. Decided a little bit different look. But yeah, so um, I have on my True Story lip from morphe i love this lipstick y'all it's a ten dollar lipstick from ulta which i'm gonna do a video uh probably sometime in the next week or so i'll explain when i did the video but i did buy this lipstick from ulta and it was like 10 bucks like can't even i mean like yeah like and so um i'm wearing a mystery foundation today which i'll tell you guys what the foundation is later on uh sometime like this eye looks really jacked up i i think i messed it up Look at that. I don't know. But um, I'll tell you guys about my foundation. I don't know. When I do that video, I guess. I don't know. But anyhow, um, yes, even eyeshadow. Like, I'll t I want to... <laughs> Everything I'm wearing today is mystery, okay? <laughs> I'm the mystery woman. <laughs> oh, my gracious, y'all. I am being silly. But, yeah. So, anyway, that is an update on the hair. I still haven't even got the other hair, the 
original hair video put in uh posted yet but yeah so anyway i'm loving it i love the bounciness of it i'm just a little bit concerned but anyhow i will chat with you guys a little bit later on in the day okay so i just can't seem to get myself on a good vlogging schedule for whatever reason my life is being occupied <laughs> I probably look a hot mess. I'm going to forewarn you right now. I mean, I have been gone all day, all afternoon. I got up, went to gym. You guys saw that. I came back, headed out, and I have been gone since. And I ended up hitting up a few stores. I just felt the need to, like, every once in a while, y'all, I get in these moods where I just have to be out. Because I think it's because I'm so used to not being home all day and sometimes I just it's just overwhelming to be home today was one of those days I headed out I did a few things um a few me things that is and then I ended up stopping by my friend Terry's house and we had y'all we did steak we did corn on the cob and coleslaw for dinner. The girl hooked a sister up, y'all. I should have been vlogging it. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't even think about it. We were just chatting about some stuff. And and I'm also sipping on me some coffee, y'all. So let me let me get a sip, y'all. There's some good coffee right here. Debbie, I think you said you like the French roast girl. This is... Do, I don't know if y'all have H-E-B where you live. I don't know where you live. I'm also editing my her... Whoa. I'm also editing my hair video for, hopefully it's going to go up tomorrow. I hope it looks okay. I feel like my hair looked like it was jacked in the video, which kind of sucks if I'm doing a hair video. But yeah, I don't know, y'all. I have to see it. Hopefully it is because I have, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, I've watched it and everything else now. So hopefully it's going to look okay. It's my bad. I've just been allowing myself to have too much going on. I'm acting like I'm grown. I'm just like, you know, burning the candles at both ends, staying up late at night, going to see, and just, I've just been enjoying life, y'all, and I, I, and I apologize. I don't apologize. You know what? I'm not going to apologize for enjoying life. I'm happy right now, okay? Do y'all hear me? This girl is so happy right now, okay? But what was that? See, y'all, I be all over the place. Okay, so let's get back to this H-E-B coffee. This is Cafe Ole. It was like, um, it's like the H-E-B brand, French roast. Y'all got a little hazelnut creamer in this bad boy, sugar-free. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> but my face is looking toe up because I came home. Okay, I washed my hair yesterday, y'all. Today, it was looking a hot mess. I went to the gym. I got left the gym. Came home, showered, did a few things here, threw my makeup on, and kept thinking, man, my hair looks big. By this afternoon, my hair looked like a freaking fro. <laughs> I was like, stop the madness. I was like, uh-uh, this can't be happening. So, we, Terry and I, after we had our steak, headed out to TJ Maxx. Y'all, I'm on this purse thing. What is wrong with me, y'all? I want a Louis Vuitton. I want a new Louis Vuitton. If I could just focus on getting a new Louis Vuitton. But what I do is I go in the store and I start focusing on all these other little bags that I've been to like these little cutesy bags and they're not cheap. They're cutesy bags, but they're not cheap. Like these little crossbodies and things. I'm seeing all these bags and I'm like, I'm feeling some type of way. Like I'm supposed to have them. I saw like two or three bags tonight that I just, there's a backpack that I want by Patricia Nash. It's a tan one, y'all. I want it so bad, but it's $99. Then I see a Dooney and Bork. Now, y'all know I bought the little Dooney and Bork crossbody, which I had not had a Dooney and Bork crossbody in forever. Or a Dooney and Bork, a Dooney and Bork, period. I was like so over them, so done. Then I see a person there tonight, y'all. I'm going to call it my work style purse because it's definitely one of those ones that I would carry to work. Like, I don't carry cross bodies to work. I don't carry, like, I would never carry a backpack purse to work either. But this purse was definitely a work purse. Like, I, because I need a purse that I can throw all my crap in when I'm, you know, like, I have to have a makeup bag. I have to have all the stuff when I go to work. So I carry a bigger bag when I go to work. This bag was 
so beautiful it was the tan color like i like it camel tan whatever 169 dollars up in there i was like hello but i wanted it but then i was like if i just get if i could just stop looking at that not, not that i'm not y'all don't have no money to go out and buy it so don't worry i'm not going to go out and buy it but you know like in my head like i start visioning having the bag and all this stuff but then i'm like but i want i really really want <laughs> me a louis vuitton <laughs> There's like two of them that right now I would give anything in the world. Really three. One of them is a classic, but I want the bandolier before I get the classic because the classic I'm probably going to buy for sure secondhand, but I want the bandolier, the one, you know, I want the bandolier Speedy 35 because I, you know, Diane talked me into getting the 35 versus the 30 because she's like, it's just a, like, it's up to, what I think it's 20, $30 more. And I, I feel like I get more use out of it because of its size. And I want to get the classic in the 30. So, uh, y'all, I'm, I'm saying this like I'm getting ready to go right out and buy me. <laughs> I'm saying it like I'm getting ready to go out and buy me one. Like, there was a time that I did think one was coming to me. But that thought really went out the window. I thought that when I went to California, there was a possibility that I was going to get one. Long story, but I was so disappointed. So it didn't happen. And I know that if I get one, I'm just gonna have to hustle. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's just move off of that subject. Let me stop talking about purses because I could go on and on and on and talk about purses. I wanna talk about the stuff for my hair. I have it in my hair right now. My hair is slightly damp. I don't know if you guys, well, you probably can't tell, but it's actually drying up a lot. So. I needed to put some product in my hair because I guess I did not put enough product in my hair last night. So like I said, I was looking like a poodle on crack today. So I came home, I wet my hair down really well. And then I put like a lot of the stuff in here because my hair was so freaking dry. I found this at TJ Maxx and I've been looking at YouTube channels where everyone's talking about how they take care of this hair, different things like this. And I know several people said they use argan oil on this hair. So this has argan oil and almond milk. And it says smooth and tame conditioner. So this is like a leave-in conditioner. And it has marshmallow root extract and some other samayo or something like that, which I don't even know what that is. But it says soften and detangles fine frizzy hair. So, I got it. It smells really good. I wet my hair down really good with the spray bottle. Yeah, it smells really good. And, um, yeah, so I threw some of that in my hair. And while I'm letting my hair kind of dry, it looks like it's going to dry, like it's going to be pretty. Like it's going to not be as frizzy. So, I'm hoping that would be the case. But um, I will definitely say that washing this hair has been an experience. Um... I'm, I, I'll have to talk about that a little bit more after I kind of see what happens with this little, what I've just done just now. So we'll see. But yes, yeah, so anyway, let me end this vlog right now for tonight. I'll chat with you guys on another night.